The Kerry Blue Terrier, also known as the Irish Blue Terrier, is a breed of dog. Originally bred to control vermin including rats, rabbits, badgers, foxes, otters, and hares, over time the Kerry became a general working dog used for a variety of jobs including herding cattle and sheep, and as a guard dog. Today the Kerry has spread around the world as a companion and working dog. Despite a Kerry Blue winning Crufts in 2000, it remains an unfashionable breed and is distinctly uncommon. However, it is not as threatened as some of the other terrier breeds such as the Sky Terrier, Sealyham Terrier, and Dandy Dinmont Terrier. The most noticeable features of the Kerry Blue Terrier are its squared head and unusual color. Puppies have a bright black color, which is replaced by a gray-blue tint by two to three years. This process is called re-discoloration and can occur with temporary browning of the coat. White markings on the chest are allowed. The Kerry's coat is dense, without undercoat, silky, soft and abundant. It is interesting that this breed practically does not shed and has no smell. Accordingly, it gives much less hassle to clean the room. But this dog needs regular grooming and brushing. This is especially true for the paws and muzzle. Until recently, immediately after birth, Kerry Blue Terrier puppies, according to the old tradition, had their tail docked, like many other terriers, presumably so that when hunting foxes and other burrowing animals, it would be more convenient to pull the dog out of the hole by the tail when it climbed for the loot. Also a feature of the breed is the gluing of the ears to create cartilage, giving the ears a complexity, for example, in contrast to the protruding ears of the German Shepherd. The Kerry Blue Terrier is a temperamental bearded man with hipster bangs, bringing confusion and chaos to any dog pack, but radiating endless good nature in the company of the owner. To make friends with a shaggy Irish, no superpowers are required, representatives of this breed are loyal to any person with whom they have to share territory. However, if this is your first time visiting a Kerry Blue Terrier, precautions will not hurt, with strangers, dogs are reserved and cold in communication, and do not try to mask suspicion of strangers. Highlights the owners of the Kerry Blue Terrier will have to learn the basics of professional grooming, since molting, accompanied by a phased loss of the dog, is not typical for the breed. The hunting instinct of the blue-haired Irish is quite sharp, which prevents dogs from peacefully coexisting with fellow tribesmen, as well as any animals that are inferior to them in size. Representatives of this family are playful, but do not suffer from hyperactivity and excessive workaholism. Optimal outdoor activities for a pet are frisbee, loading objects, swimming. The breed will especially appeal to people who dream of a family dog, equally loving all household members and not fixated on just one. Most Kerry Blue Terriers have classic terrier habits, a mania for trapping rodents, digging in vegetable gardens and flower beds. The inclinations of a leader and leader are inherent in all representatives of the breed, therefore, among overly soft owners who do not bother with training a puppy, Kerries are transformed into impudent and destructive pets. The Kerry Blue Terrier maintains good physical condition and interest in life and play into old age. History of the Kerry Blue Terrier breed The Kerry Blue Terrier is a dog with an impressive but not very intelligible history. Experts still cannot establish the real ancestors of animals and are limited to unconfirmed guesses about the degree of relationship between Kerry Blue Terriers and other breeds. For example, it is generally accepted that the first bearded dogs were born from the mating of Irish wolfhounds with black and tan English terriers, which were later replaced by Bedlingtons and Wheaton terriers. At the same time, the Irish, greedy for legends and sensations, continue to believe that the progenitor of the breed was a blue Portuguese water dog that escaped from a sinking Spanish ship and was picked up by the farmers of the Emerald Isle. In the 19th century, the possession of a Kerry Blue Terrier was a must for Irish peasants. However, the practical villagers did not want to keep the animals for their beautiful eyes, so the four-legged pets were forced to do any work they could, catching water rats, grazing flocks of sheep, protecting the owner's property. The Kerry Blue Terriers began to master the breed exhibitions at the very end of the 19th century. Along the way, the dogs were involved in field trials, in which they achieved good results. As a result, it got to the point that the dog, which did not show its success in catching and feeding the animal at the exhibition, could not claim the champion title. But enterprising breeders got their bearings here as well, beginning to deliberately cultivate malice in their wards, for which the Kerries received the nickname Blue Devils. In the 20s of the 20th century, Kerry Blue Terriers were standardized, and their owners began to unite in clubs. In 1922 the Irish were registered in England, two years later the American Kennel Club followed the same procedure. Kerry Blue Terrier Breed Standard Historically, Kerry Blue Terriers were typical farm dogs, which were kept not for their purity of blood, but for helping in household matters. 
therefore, in spite of the century of show breeding and the appearance of the breed, peasant solidity still slips and sometimes even outright roughness of constitution. Abundant wavy hair helps to hide anatomical imperfections, thanks to which carries look dandy elegant and extraordinary. Sexual dimorphism for the smoky Irish is also a typical phenomenon, usually males have more powerful muscles and massive heads. The growth retardation in bitches is small. If the reference boy must be at least 45 to 49 centimeters at the withers, then for girls the ideal indicators are 44 to 48 centimeters. At exhibitions, strict requirements are imposed on the shape of the head and the structure of the will of the carry blue terriers. The highest score is assigned for them. By the way, if you do not look closely at the animal, it may seem that its hair is curly. In fact, the excessive pootiness of the dog is a serious drawback. True carry hair is wavy and soft, but by no means curly. Head. The skull is rather large, balanced, with a light stop. The muzzle is medium in size. Teeth and jaws. The correct representative of the breed is distinguished by large strong teeth and a scissor bite. A straight bow of the dentition is also allowed. The dog's jaws are strong and grippy. The mouth as well as the upper and lower gums should be black. Nose. A harmoniously developed lobe is painted in a coal black tone and has large wide open nostrils. Eyes. Eyes of medium size, normal shallow set, with dark hazel or just dark iris. The Kerry Blue Terrier's gaze is piercingly intelligent. Ears. The knee thin ears are carried on the sides of the head, forming a fold in their middle part and dropping forward. In order for the ear sheet to take the correct position, it is glued to the Kerry Blue Terrier puppies. Ears begin to glue from the age of three months and ends when the animal is seven months old. In some individuals, the process of forming cartilage tissue may be delayed. This is also normal, but it takes longer to glue on such stubborn ears. Tail. The breed has a very thin, straight, well-set tail. Wool. The hair is lush, moderately soft and wavy. The coat on the head and muzzle is especially developed. Color. The coat of adult carry blue terriers is colored in all shades of blue and may also have black marks on the body. Moreover, all individuals are born black, gradually lightening by 1-1.5 years. The nature of the carry blue terrier. Describing the nature of the carry blue terriers, it is customary to quote E.S. Montgomery, who argued that the breed differs from the inhabitants of Ireland only by the fact that its representatives do not smoke pipes. For all other parameters, the sparkling temperament of animals completely copies the mentality of the inhabitants of the Emerald Isle. Playful, half-turned on, adoring bizarre fun in the same fights, Kerry Blue Terriers are the type of pets with whom the whole life passes in anticipation of a surprise. A real Kerry Blue Terrier is, first of all, a human-centered creature. A puppy brought into the house quickly joins the family and learns to get along with each of its members without appointing only one confidant. Children are pleasant companions and playmates for an animal. By the way, unlike large breed dogs, carries do not see children and adolescents as a lower caste, whose representatives need to be treated condescendingly, but whose demands should not be responded to. Moreover, the natives of Green Erin will willingly go with your heirs to the training ground and listen to the commands given by the young owners. As for the guarding abilities of the breed, you can rely on them. True carry blue terriers do not suffer from idle talk, and if they bark, then really about it. Of course, we are not talking about ill-bred pets who use the voice for boredom. Some carries are capable of letting a stranger into the house, but certainly not letting out of it. Usually the dog blocks the exits from the premises and carefully studies the behavior of the stranger. The reaction to any threatening gesture, wave of the hand, an attempt to push the tail guard aside with a kick of the foot should be harsh and immediate. By the way, the bites of the breed are painful and deep. The carry blue terrier is incredibly jumpy and painfully curious, so there are no forbidden places for him in the apartment, there are simply underexplored ones. At the same time, he is neat in everyday life, and even despite the habit of gnawing something solid at his leisure, he does not suffer from destructive behavior and does not enjoy howling. In the absence of the owner, the pet is able to find himself a peaceful occupation or take a sweet nap on the carpet until one of the family members appears in the house. And the Kerry Blue Terrier is a born humorist, easily transforming into a clown with a wild imagination and an inexhaustible supply of practical jokes. Be mentally prepared for funny tricks, weird tricks with surrounding objects and a funny pantomime with a four-legged darling. Education and training. Each Kerry Blue Terrier is a bright personality, so even an experienced dog handler will not be able to predict how easy it will be to train a particular puppy. However, almost all trainers note the breed's innate obstinacy when it comes to coercion into training. The reason for stubbornness lies in the fact that it is difficult for a Kerry to concentrate on things that seem boring to him. 
In addition, this comrade constantly switches to external stimuli, such as a slipping mouse or a fellow tribesman looming on the horizon. So, you need to work out teams and sport skills with a breed quickly, 10-minute exercise is the limit, persistently, but without unnecessary authoritarianism. The boundaries of socialization and acquaintance of the pet with the surrounding reality on a walk should be adjusted by a leash, not a harness. Do not forget, Irish like to provoke conflicts with other dogs. They bring up carry blue terriers, relying on standard methods. First, the puppy is taught to have a uniform daily routine, the ability to respond to his own nickname and the elements of etiquette. Attempts to swoop down on a person, bite, growl and in general any demonstration of superiority should be suppressed. Carries are typical dominants who only need to give in once so that they have time to sit on the owner's head. Punishments in a pet's life must take place when they are caught red-handed. There should be no retroactive repression and no beating. They also do not punish for not understanding the requirements, fear of something, as well as for too slow execution of commands. It is not recommended to catch the carry blue terrier in order to prevent him from doing what you do not like and also to spank the dog with a leash. In the first case, the animal will perceive the catch-up as a fun game, not forgetting to ride off 